Hello everyone, this is the first video of day 11 for 365 days aptitude challenge and in the previous sessions we were calculating the number of uh, triangles, the number of squares and rectangles. Okay, so to continuation of that topic, uh, we will what you say solve some more questions. Okay, so let's see a different kind of a questions. Okay, so let's see how it uh, goes for us. All right, so if in the last session, I told you how to solve number of rectangle squares and what you say triangles but uh, we missed parallelograms the number of uh, parallelograms okay so if you know how to calculate number of rectangles you also know how to calculate number of uh, parallelograms right okay that also you can understand for example there is a, a parallelogram like this which is let's say Okay, so how many parallelograms are here? Ye thoda bot rectangle ki tarra dikh hai, but even if it is a parallelogram, it will not make much difference. Now, how many parallelograms are here? The concept for parallelograms is two parallel lines must be intersected by another two parallel lines. Then I will get a parallelogram. Then I would get a parallelogram. Here, I need two parallel lines, kind of a vertical parallel lines okay intersected by kind of a horizontal parallel uh, lines to get parallelogram so here uh, if i am taking this as a vertical line one of the vertical line as an option i have one two three four five and six options right totally six lines as an option if i take if i choose this one another i want right mereko agar ye hai mere paas aur ek chahiye na okay aur ek vertical line chahiye aur do horizontal line chahiye if i am choosing this one as the line as an as a partner i have six options if i am choosing this one as a partner i have five because already these two are done okay so i i'll have one two three four five so it will go six plus five plus four up to 1 so overall this will become 21 multiplied by if I take this as a horizontal line as an option I have 1 2 3 and 4 okay plus if I take this one okay as an option I have 3 plus 2 plus 1 overall this will become 10 so I can say 210 parallelograms are there okay now this is when the figure is already given okay but sometimes he might say that see guys wherever you are not able to understand pause the video and watch it again okay because this is a video and i have to cover the content little quickly i might go little fast sometimes so you have every option to go at your own pace pause it solve the question and then what you say you can just check whether your answer is correct or not or you can rewind and watch it again whenever you feel you have not understood okay so let's see guys so let's say uh, it is given that six parallel lines okay six parallel lines are intersected okay intersected by four parallel lines okay four parallel lines so how many uh, parallelograms can be made so what i can draw here is six parallel lines one two three four five and six parallel lines intersected by four parallel lines right okay now if i take this one as an option so here how many boxes are becoming here this becomes what you say uh, one two three four five five by three boxes okay when you are talking about six parallel lines intersected by four parallel lines it will become five by three parallelogram correct okay take it was up to chodo now to get a parallelogram i need two lines two horizontal lines kind of and vertical lines okay now if this is a first line as an option i have one two three four five options right plus it will be four options oh sorry four options three options two and one okay overall this will become 15 into now if i take this line as an option i have three plus two plus one correct or all this will be six so i have totally 90 parallelograms this concept is almost what you say 
same as rectangle same here almost be nice same here only thing is there it is rectangle and here it is parallelogram and another thing which you need to understand is all the rectangles are parallelograms okay all the rectangles are parallelograms all the squares are parallelograms but all the uh, parallelograms may not be rectangles or squares okay sare squares parallelograms hai. what is the condition for parallelograms two parallel lines are intersected by another two parallel lines that's happening in square and rectangle okay but all parallelograms are not rectangles and squares that you have to understand okay i hope you guys understood this one now let's uh, move on to the next one see i have taught you how to calculate the number of squares okay so just another question because we need to be good with it right okay so how many squares are here if there is a figure given like this okay i have told you if there is what you say 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 given something like this okay how to do it it is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square because it is 3 by 3 i am going till 3 square okay but when it is given like this okay what you do is you take this one separately okay your logic should work here it's not that there is a formula for every question Aapko logic hamesha yaad rakhna chahi. Okay, uh, samaj mein aana chahi. so you take this one as different one because it is 2 by 2 this will become 1 square plus 2 square okay ye toh manually we count kar sakte 1 2 3 4 and 5 squares totally okay and this one also again okay so it will be 1 2 3 4 and 5 squares again which i can write it as 1 square plus 2 square overall it will be 10 squares overall it would be 10 squares okay i hope you guys have understood this one now let's say i am giving you uh, another question something like this aapko agar 8 by 8 hai to malum hai ki how to calculate you will do it as 1 square plus 2 square up to 8 square if it is 6 by 8 okay if, if it is 6 by 8 square then how you will find the number of squares okay that also we should understand let's say i am talking about um, 5 squares okay intersected by 4 squares 5 squares intersected by 4 squares. What you do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4. Just write it like this. Okay. After that, see if you want to calculate it manually, you can calculate, but it becomes very difficult, right? Ye thoda ho what you do is this one into this 5 into 4 plus 4 into 3. 4 into 3 plus 3 into 2 3 into 2 plus 2 into 1 this is only remaining right so 2 into 2 into 1 okay so this becomes 20 and 12 and 6 and 2 okay so this becomes 40 overall this will be 40 okay I hope you guys have understood this one. All right. So I'll give you another question. Try to solve it. Okay. So let's see if you can guys can solve it. If I take it as three six. Okay. 6 by 4 I am taking okay 6 by 4 I am taking let's see how many of you will get it right okay let's see okay aapko thoda bahut yaha pe doubt aega to usko aap sort out karne ke liye try karna you guys try to sort out that one all right this you try to do all right so uh, un comment the answers in the comment section okay and do it on the regular basis guys because what you say uh, the smallest things which you are doing okay wo aapko bahut motivation deta hai right see when you are sitting in the class and answering some question and your faculty appreciates you that will bring a biggest change in your uh, what you say thing after that everything will be different because you will try to impress them again and again aur uske wo competitive spirit wo build hota hai okay so the ev every small things which you are doing 
कैन मेक अ वेरी बिग डिफरेंस ओके सो किसी भी चीज को ऐसे नहीं सोचना है कि ये मेरे को आता है ओके आई नो दिस क्या फर्क पड़ता है वेदर आई कमेंटेड और आई डोंट कमेंटेड कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है नो इट डजेंट हैपन दैट वे द स्मॉलेस्ट एफर्ट्स यू आर कीपिंग ओके कैन गिव यू द बिगेस्ट रिवॉर्ड्स व्हिच यू विल ओनली नॉट अंडरस्टैंड टेक माय वर्ड ओके एंड व्हाट यू से प्रैक्टिस अकॉर्डिंगली ऑलराइट सो थैंक यू सो मच गाइस वी विल मीट अगेन